Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 18 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the pound defined directive. And basically, what it allows you to do is create a variable and assign it a certain value, and then that variable can be substituted anywhere in your program. So, um, the two main things that you have to know about it is that it's accessible to all of the functions that you create. So the main function and all the other ones, like if you say you create one that's add five or something else, um, then that is, it's, it's accessible to all of your functions, okay? And the second thing is that it is a constant. The value can't be changed. And so therefore, if I tried to say, let's say I call it my or max or something like that, and uh, my max, uh, if I tried to give it a value, so my max gets 10 later on in the program, it would give me an error because I can't do it. It's a constant value, and so therefore it can't be changed. So those are the two things you need to know. So to start out, we just do pound define, and programmers like to use two forms for uh, calling con or creating constant variable names either k out front and then saying the variable's name or doing everything in caps and then separating letters by um, underscores. So those are two different ways of using um, or constants. You don't have to do that, but basically it just helps people who read your code understand, oh, that's a constant variable because it has a k or it's giant capital letters. So obviously it's a constant. So um, I'm just going to be using k because I don't know, I like it, I guess. So k okay, max, and then now all I have to say is 200. So now all that means right there is that k max is getting a value of 200, where everywhere that k max is put into the our program, 200 is going to be substituted in. So the nice thing about this, obviously I don't have to write int out, it already knows that it's just going to get a value of 200, or it's substituting in that value 200 everywhere in my program. And I don't have to end it with a semicolon because it's a pound or it's a preprocessor directive. So yeah, they don't end with semicolons. So to start out, um, if I wanted to print this our variable that we just created up here, I just do percent D like we do for all of our integers. And I could throw in K max. And if I go to run this, boom, build and run and 200 is our output. Okay, max 200, so it's going to print out 200. Not too hard to understand. So, just to show you that uh, the value can't be changed, I'm just going to show you right here. Okay, max gets a value of 10. Let's try it out. And let's build this, and oh yeah, well, we get an error. Because it's a constant value, and the constants can't be changed. So yeah, just don't try it, I guess. It's not going to work. So, moving on, we can even, um, we don't just have to put numbers in this, we can even make these functions if we wanted. So let's say we want to make a function that adds 5. So let's just do add 5, and we can use parameters even, so let's just give it A as our parameter. We can put anything in here, we can call it B, C, or put a, a word in there, it doesn't matter. Just, it's a parameter, and A is the just our parameter that uh, we're going to use for this. So k add 5, it's going to look for one parameter, and then on top of that we're going to show what the function is actually going to do, or our constant function, whatever you want to call it. So k add 5, obviously going to add 5. So that's all we have to do. When this is called, it's going to know that whatever's in parentheses here is going to, we're just going to do this to it, so a plus 5. So whatever we enter here, it's going to get 5 added on. So k and then add 5, put in, let's put in a 6 to this our, um, in our parentheses here. And so we'll pass the 6 on and uh, 6 plus 5 is our value. So we're going to get 11 printed out to the console. And as you can see, build and run, we get 11. So that's how another way we can use pound define. So we can even make little functions in them if we want. So, um, another thing that you can do, and there's tons of things you can do with pound defines, um, basically it's a constant variable that won't be changed. That's all you really have to know. And they're obviously useful. So, 
Um, another thing we can do is let's say we want to have a thank you for every time we complete a task. Or let's make it like, how about when somebody buys something from your website. So that might be something that you use a lot, I don't know, who knows. But we'll just say thanks for your money. And that's what you can say to your customer every time they buy something. And they'll be really pleased with you. And so um, to print this out to them, or to your console I should say, okay thanks. And basically we're substituting in this text right here. So thanks for your money is substituted in with K thanks. And we don't need our quotes because, well our quotes are already in our uh, defined variable here. So um, we don't actually need extra quotes around it. That would just be putting double quotes around quotes. It doesn't matter. We don't need it because we already hopefully understand that this is a this is a string of text. So that's what printf prints out. It's this this string of text here. So now building on this, and as you can see, thanks for your money. So that's um, how basically the pound define works. It creates this constant variable that's substituted in for your program. And it can be used in any function that you create later on. So yeah, that's uh, the lesson on pound defines. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a message. Uh, yeah, via the YouTube message system thing. And uh, if you like the tutorials and have been watching them all along, hopefully, then please subscribe to the channel because more will be made. And uh, just a special shout out for anybody who's been hoping for uh, input, to get input into your programs. So far we've been just putting output, as in printing stuff to the console. But now we're going to learn how to type stuff, and then it can be used into, or can be put into our program. So that's lesson 19, um, just to let you know, it's uh, coming. So yeah, so this was lesson 18 on... Uh, the pound defined directive and see you next tutorial